to hard again because TV cameras are here. Chris was very annoyed with his, his Lincoln side last weekend losing against Kidderminster. But I've got a lot of sympathy with Tranmere. We're in a, a very similar position, albeit this is their first season in, in non league. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Go on, I'm just, I expect us to win 3 1 today, so there you go. And there was a little us in there as well. You just can't sit him on the fence. Well, here come the teams. Perfect time for us to hand over to our commentary team the former Celtic and Brighton defender Adam Virgo and Steve Bauer. Thanks, Clem. Afternoon, everyone. A good Friday with huge importance. Champion, though, the games are getting less, they played more than most of their playoff rivals and the margin for error is decreasing week by week. The team that have drawn their last three make just one change today, it's a significant one though because captain Stephen Jennings in his third spell with a club who played in the Football League twice in two different spells for them is back after injury in the centre of midfield alongside Jay Harris, Adam Mecky drops to the bench where you will find a new face, Scott Fennick, known to Ronnie Moore because he scored goals for him to keep Hartlepool in League Two last season. He joined this week on a month's loan. Fit again, Michael Higdon is also amongst Tranmere's substitutes. Well, Chris Moises makes two changes after that defeat to Kidderminster. Uh, in come George Maris on loan from Barnsley, the 20-year-old, his first start for Lincoln. And also in uh, Greg Tempest, the Northern Ireland under 21 international all eyes on Matt Reed 22 goals in all competitions he hasn't scored though in his last five <laughs> Harris trying to get on the end of this saved by Farman Hughes's follow-up they look to handball from Bradley Woods it's a penalty and a red card Adrian Holmes was quick to send the full-back off here. Something out of nothing in the build-up. You see in there, breaking lines, going in behind. Probably were pleading his innocence, saying it hit him in the chest. This angle now will certainly tell you what it is. It's a good decision from the referee. It really is. He can still claim all he wants. It is a red card, hits his arm. And now a massive opportunity for Tranmere. James Norwood's last four goals for Tranmere have all been from the penalty spot. Can he make it five and break the deadlock? Yeah. He can! 15th league goal of the season. Tranmere's top scorer as reliable again from the spot. And the home team have the lead. Oh, it's a pressure penalty for Norwoods. But what he does brilliantly, confidently strikes it hard. And Farman does go the right way, but the strike's just so good. Goes into that corner. It's a quality penalty from Norwoods. This has been a, an accomplished performance from Tramia first half, but they've got that first goal. Lincoln down to 10 men. You tend to make more mistakes. The quality players just two touches, keeping it moving all the time. Bush with the long throw. Even though Wood's been sent off, who has that in his armory, so too has Bush. No foul on Taylor Fletcher. Bush again. Blocked by Kirby. He runs straight into power. Reed. Floated in by Hawkridge, free header and the level. Muldoon. Well, it's Maris who got in there and he marks his full debut. George Maris for Lincoln with the equalising goal and the ten men are back on terms. Well, it's a quality ball in, it really is. And they get a little bit of luck because Muldoon actually overruns it, ends up into Reed. It's a quality ball in. Harris slips, he gets between Vaughan as well. And that's a brilliant header, you could just control it, you guide it. You use the quality of the cross from Hawkridge, gets it back in on his left foot, which he's stronger with. And that's a brilliantly controlled header. 
Big moment for the 20-year-old, a big moment for Lincoln. With 10 men to bring it back to 1-1. Plenty of targets in here for Tranmere. Headed away comfortably by Hawkridge. Two added minutes at the end of the first half. Harris. And then Hughes. And then in from Kirby. Tranmere back in front. Jake Kirby with his third league goal of the season. Finishing off a neat build-up. And they've restored their lead in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Well, George Maris has been left two on one out here. There's no choice. It's great play. He certainly is onside. I'm really not too sure what Waterfall is doing. He comes running out. You see him on the edge of the six-yard box. Loses his position. Taylor Fletcher keeps it alive. And Kirby then taps it in. A disappointing goal to concede. Just on the stroke of half-time. How important a goal could it be for playoff chasing Tram here? Well, it's a massive goal, it really is. Lincoln goal would change the complex of Tramir Rovers' playoff push. In from Hawkridge. Solid header, and there is the goal. McNade, the substitute, denied by Davis a little earlier. Thumps it past the Tramia goalkeeper, and the ten men have come back to 2 2. Well, you won't see a better header than this from Robbie McNade, and it's a quality ball in again. If the assist is there for you, and you've just got that desire and determination to go and win it, which he does. It's the first header, really, that McNulty's lost, but the ball in there was of real quality. And that's a great header, it really is, from the substitute. And now it's important that they keep their concentration and not concede a goal like they did last time. Anxiety around the stadium. I was just about to say that afterwards, I just... The frustration, I say the chances that they created and all of a sudden you're not keeping the ball very well, misplaced passes are always met by groans and these players have to deal with it and that's probably been a feature this season, especially at home, dealing with pressure. Just <laughs> no pressure there from Scott Davis, the goalkeeper. Here's Harris. Stayed on his feet. Mackey. And it's in. Adam Mackey has found the way through with a goal that could well keep those playoff hopes very much alive for Tramir Rovers. Well, it is really heartache for Lincoln because they've given absolutely everything. But always knew down that left-hand side there'd be that opportunity. Beavers goes in to try and win it, he doesn't. But all of a sudden, you just need that little bit of luck. And it actually comes off Lee Beavers in the end which is deflected in the goal. Harris keeps it alive. Mickey's touch there. And when Beavers comes back in, just takes a wicked deflection off him. Well, you heard Paul Hurst and Ronnie Moore at the top of our show talking about promotion and playoffs where you need the luck.